Hey, hey, hey. We are fixing to do some modifications on our chick brooder. Um, trying to make life easier for Andrea and Emily and Lane. I don't necessarily have to do the everyday chores. That's what they do while I'm going to work. But uh, one of the big problems last year was the water system. And what we had set in there was just some five gallon waters. Probably, I think there's like six of them set throughout there. What we're gonna to go to and try this year is a nipple watering system. Everybody I've talked to says they work phenomenal and uh, so much better. One of the big issues when we received the chicks was they was all thirsty and they would try to pile in on that water and they would be stepping on each other, getting each other wet. A lot of them would get chilled, some of them would die. So what we're trying to do is eliminate them having to water like that all the time and plus eliminate the death on the chicks uh, as day old chicks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two by fours up close to the ceiling. That way we can hang our watering system and maybe even get a different feeding system in the brooder to make life on the farm so much easier. Let's get started. It's been a while since we've used this. Well, actually probably six months or more. And I went in here the other day and it was cluttered. I asked the kids, help me out, get it cleaned out. So here goes nothing. Let's see what they did. Oh. One phone call real quick. Get them out here hopping. They've had over a week to do this. And I'm ready to work. Yeah, yes. Um, ma'am. Sir. Do you remember the job that you was tasked with and I gave you a timeline to get her done? No. Ask your, well, ask your brother. Was he tasked? He was tasked with the same job. Oh. Okay. It needs to be done like yesterday or the day before. Uh, what, what is it? What is it? Yeah, because I got to get it done because then I got to go. Well, you ain't going until you get it done. Yeah, but what is it so huh? I can do it? Let me say one word and see if it rings a little bell in that head. Brooder. Oh, I was supposed to get the waters and put them somewhere. Yes, ma'am. Where was I supposed to put them? Out there in the hay barn with the rest of the waters and all that. Okay. And your brother's um, got a job in here, too. Okay. All right. All right. Bye-bye Bye now. now. <laughs> I love that girl. Woo, just about busted. Yes, we still got ice. And it's over 70 degrees today. I went in the greenhouse wall ago. It was 108 because I didn't have the fan on. It's a warm day. Maybe the rest of this ice will melt quick. All right, so I've kind of got the uh, the personality or whatever to, when I'm ready to do a job, I might just walk into Lowe's and then start trying to brainstorm and how am I gonna build this? What all do I need? So let's just pray that I got enough parts, the right parts, and don't have to make another trip back. Right now, I am fixing to start cutting these up. I went into the brooder, measured that, know what length I need to make them. I'm gonna cut some, go fit them up. I've got these brackets. Right here that I'll end up, I'll screw this side to the wall and then just set the two by four down in it. Give it some extra support there. And then all of our watering system will hang from these. These are going to be kind of like uh, uh, rafters in the ceiling or whatever. But I got to put these down below the roll up door. That way when it's warm enough, I need to roll the door up. These won't be in the way. A little shortcut if you're going to cut them all the same length. Line them up, measure down. Just draw you a straight line across wherever you're gonna make your cut on all the boards. When doing that, make sure you're measuring from the end that you lined up because look, come look at the other end. Oh, we got one that sticks out a little too far. Most of the others are all pretty flush. Of course, save that for later. I mean, it's only a little over 12 inches probably, but always gonna be handy. All right, I got two of them cut. 
before I cut any more, I better go make sure that all these are gonna work. Mm. Tools. You got the drill, check. Screws, check. Brackets, check. Two buys, check. so we finished hanging all of these up i wasn't gonna bore you with all that but we just screwed the brackets onto the wall had to uh, adjust from when i first started i put them all the way up but had to get them just a little board to give us some room to turn the two by fours in there so as you can see we've got well you can see some of them we've got five of them down through here we're going to hang all of our watering system from and uh, now our next step is to assemble one of these these are uh, just a, a nipple watering system. It will actually, it will actually at the end of the day hang like this right here, all the way down at the ground, of course. And you'll just have a little drip of water off each one of these nipples that they'll sit there and peck at. And instead of it dripping in the floor, if you've got too much pressure, we got the little drip cups to catch it, kind of keep it a little nicer and cleaner in here. But I did mention there, if you have the right pressure. So these things, they require a regulator, and this is the regulator for this part of it. You also need an inline regulator to cut down from, say, 60 pounds of water pressure outside. You'll cut that down before you get into this, and then this will fine tune it just to a very small amount of pressure. So you cannot hook one of these up to just your water line and expect good results. So what Lane's doing is taking that end nipple off. You're gonna mount the regulator down on that end and to do that, you're gonna want to mount the regulator to this. And you're also gonna have to cut some of this off to give you room to get it mounted on there. You're gonna lose one of your nipple waters down on this end. All right, so for the instructions, you gotta cut from the end of your aluminum bracket, you're gonna cut back, you're gonna measure from there and cut back four and seven eighths. So this is squared uh, PVC. It comes with a special square adapter. It's got a little hook and a little spot there to catch that hook. Really self-explanatory, get it in there, twist it. There you go. And if you didn't already know, this is called a lubing system, this whole setup. So if you go to Google it or look it up online or whatever, that's how you'll find it is under uh, lubing systems. All right, so our next part is we're gonna join two pieces together. It already comes with a, a rubber grommet to splice them together with. As you can see, it's square. Work them together like that. For this, it's kind of like a hose clamp, but it's a one-time, you just squeeze it together. All right, for the end piece here, it's got an adapter on it too to, to go to square, or if you had the round. Um, but we had to trim just a little bit of it off because it's the same thing, this hanger will bolt to the aluminum frame get it all lined up, push it on there, there we go. All right, so when I bought this system, I told the guy I wanted to be able to raise it up and down, and I could probably screw some pulleys to this and make a pulley system to raise it all up at the same time. But he gave me these, I mean, really inexpensive. Just, I mean, there's nothing to them. 
But watch how easy it is to fix this wire with these right here. So I'm just gonna go through the hole on this hanger. Don't want to twist. Take this, put the wire through it, and boom, put it through the other. That's locked in. Now you gotta do is come up here to this. Let's see, watch the, move my hand out of the way where the camera can see it. Go around the back, back around the front, and it's locked in there. All you gotta do is take that loose and you raise it up and down at the height that you need. All right, we got both of the headers put together. Um, we've gotten them hung. One of the bad things that uh, I've had a problem with, as you can see, it's another day. Um, I've changed the tire and all that. It got dark on us. We got tired and wore out. But uh, one of my problems was when I went to Lowe's, I just kind of brainstormed and thought, yeah, I need this, I need that. I have to have this to go from this to that. Well, sometimes I think too technical and what i ended up doing is i bought water hose fittings to screw into the pvc pipe and then screw onto the end of a water hose these things are quite pricey like i think like five dollars or six dollars i got one for the outside but after i started putting everything together one thing i realized is i don't want to use uh good ends just to go from up there down to the water something that i need is something like what come with it this right here goes on the regulator right down there and all you're going to do is slip your piece of hose over there clamp it and you're good to go so all i need to do is go to lowe's and buy some of that plastic like that's going to work just fine it's going to be really low pressure another thing that i wasn't sure of i just thought this was a three quarter water regulator. Well, I just opened it up while I go to install it. And no, it is going to be something totally different than what I was in brainstorming. I got three quarter PVC, but for whatever reason, it only came with one end with the regulator like that. I can screw that into there, but I don't have one for this end. And I'm like, brand new box, what am I gonna do with that? I thought it was missing parts. But I ended up even looking at the picture and it shows the union on one end and threads on the other. I've got to figure out how I'm gonna get half inch PVC, three quarter, to that. That's gonna take some brainstorming. So with that dilemma, I'm kinda of at a standstill. I've already glued my 90. This is gonna be, I'm gonna get, like I said, threaded, barbed in, and just run hose from up here, down. This is where your inlet of your water is gonna be. From the 90, I've glued back here to the T. Done the same thing. It'll go down to this other water down here on this side. Then I'll run over. I'm trying to keep everything on kind of a slant. That way, during the winter when we're not using this, I'm gonna unhook outside and just let gravity flow it all back out so my lines don't freeze and break. When I got to here, this is where I wanna put that regulator. So now I'm like, what to do now? So each one of these water headers has 29 nipple waters on it. And the guy that I bought it from, I just bought it at a poultry supply house. He said, between both of these, that will be plenty of waters for 800 chicks. 800 chicks. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start out, um, we increased from last year 600 to this year we're gonna go 800, see how that does. And we're trying to kind of put it off a few more weeks longer than we did last year just because we're gonna uh it's gonna be a little warmer outside hopefully and then we're gonna move them out of here in three weeks rather than four four and a half weeks like we did last year so we'll get them out of here faster 
Hopefully we'll be able to raise more birds in here. And then hopefully we'll be able to have a lot more meat in stock. That's one of our big problems is certain pieces of the chicken, they sold out like that. And we've been out for a while. Another thing I'm looking at is I already see a modification that I want to do up here where we looped them up on the two bys. I've got to think, try to figure out how to do it. I want to put pulleys, screw pulleys to every one of those two by fours and mount all those cables to one cable. That way I can pull that one cable and raise the whole thing up. That way when it comes cleaning time, I mean, adjusting for the chicks, that's not gonna be no big deal, but like right now, I'm fixing to raise them all back up. Number one, they're in my way. Number two, we still gotta put all the bedding in here. I'm also gonna clean it out better than what it is right now. Yeah, definitely for sure, no doubt. I've gotta have them raise higher than that. That right there was kind of a pain. Here pretty quick, I will go ahead and install the pulleys, mount one cable, that way all I gotta do is pull and it'll raise from here up. Like I said, I'm just trying to think this up as I go. I'm gonna probably clean up, get ready to go inside and call it a night. I appreciate y'all watching. Like I've said before, if you're interested in something like this, it's called a lubing system. Chicken water, nipple water, header, I don't know. I found, I Googled and Googled and Googled a bunch and ended up finding most of it through called a lubing system. So if that's something that you're interested in, there's your little tip for helping you find it maybe. We'll catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. God bless.